Hi friends, we are here again with CKLA Skills for Lesson 3. I wanted to remind you that instead of doing the shoulder, elbow, wrist, we're doing the fingers again. You're going to listen to me say it, and then we're going to say it together. Okay, let's try this one. Go. G-O. Go. Try it with me. Go. G. O. Go. Make sure that whenever you have your fingers up, each time you say the sound, you are pointing to your first finger and then your second finger. Let's try the next one. No. N. O. No. Try it with me. Two fingers up. No. Point to your first finger, n, second finger, o, no. Next one, Joe, j, o, Joe. Try it with me. Joe, j, o, Joe. Last one, so. O, oh, so. Try it with me. So, so, oh, so. Good job. Now we are moving on with our three sound words. Okay, listen first and then do it with me. Cat, k, at. Do it with me. Cat, k, a, t, cat. Next one, listen first, then do it with me. Bat, b, a, t, bat. Do it with me. I don't, I can't remember if I just did that or not. Bat, b, a, t, bat. Next one, listen and then do it with me. Ten, t, e, n, like the number ten. Do it with me. Ten, t, e, n, ten. Now, a lot of Southerners say ten, meaning the number ten, like this next word. But ten is actually metal, and ten is the number ten. So we want to make sure that we pronounce that correctly. So let's say, or listen first, and then say it with me. Ten, t, i, n, ten. Do it with me. T, i, n, ten. Okay. Now say ten. 10 is the number 10, and 10 is like a piece of metal. Okay, review of our sounds again. I would like for you to pause and review these sounds with your child and resume when you're ready. Review these sounds with your child. So pause here and resume when you're ready. Uh, another little note, um, sorry, I told you to pause it already, but you're going to hear this when you come back. Um, you don't have to do them in order. It's actually probably better not to do, do them in order because they will memorize the order that they come up. Same with the note cards. Make sure you mix those up so they don't memorize the order. Kids are really, really smart. Okay, so moving on to the next page. Pause here to review these sounds and resume when you're ready. Who remembers our sound from yesterday? What is this sound? <gasps> Very good. Make the picture of that sound in the air. <sighs> Do it again. <sighs> like in hat. Our new sound for today, oops, I didn't even go to it, sorry. Our new sound for today is Say these words after me. S sip. S 
sat. S suit. S sun. All of those words begin with the s sound. Now, all of these words that you're going to listen to and repeat after me end with the s sound. Say this one after me. Miss. Pass. Dress. Nuts. All right, now listen to this with me, okay? Listen as I read it, and then we'll try to say it together, okay? Silly Sammy and Sassy Sue sailed several sailboats and sipped sodas slowly, too. I'm going to say it again. Silly Sammy and Sassy Sue sailed several sailboats and sipped sodas slowly too. Parents, if you want to pause here and just go over this with them for about 30 seconds, um, it really won't take that long and then y'all can say it together and practice saying the s sound and resume when you're ready. And we get to play I'm thinking again. All of these words will start with the s sound. Okay, so I'm thinking of something grainy used to build a castle at the beach. Sand, that's right. I'm thinking of something big and round and yellow that rises in the sky every morning and sets every evening. The sun. I'm thinking of something with a faucet and a drain. We run water in it to wash our hands and brush our teeth. The sink. I'm thinking of something that is sharp that we use to cut paper. Scissors. Now I'm thinking of something that we eat made with two slices of bread. Sometimes we put peanut butter and jelly on it. Sandwich. Yep. Oh, I'm thinking of something of how we might feel when we catch a cold and have fever. Sick. That's right, and that's why we're not at school together, because there's so much sickness around right now. I'm thinking of something that's the opposite of brother. Sister. Now, I'm thinking of something. is a reptile that has no legs. It's smooth, and it moves by slithering, and it sometimes goes <laughs> Yep, a snake. Miss Lassiter does not like snakes. Okay, I'm thinking of something we might do at the beach or a pool if it's hot. We usually do this in the summertime. Swim. That's right. I love, love, love to swim. I'm thinking of what our mouths do when we're happy. Smile. That's right. Okay, here is how we make the picture of our sound, you start just below the dotted line, and then you make a small curve up, and then you curve around to the bottom line and back up a little bit, kind of like a snake. So pay attention to that, and whenever you complete, I'm going to skip. Oh, no, I didn't have to skip it. Sorry. I thought I was going to have to skip this. This is your workbook page. It's 3.1. You're going to... Um, Complete the picture of the sound, and at the bottom, like we always do, we're going to sound these words out. Sad. Sad. Same thing like we did yesterday. We still have some of the pictures that we used yesterday, so that way we are giving the students more repetition with the same words, and they'll get better reading it. Okay, so this is a ham. Man, dog, sit, dig, and sad. Okay, now look up here and we're going to sound these words out together. S, it, sit, s, 
Sad. Sad. D. Ig. Dig. D. Og. Dog. Am. Ham. M. An. Man. Okay, so you're going to write those words underneath the picture. And the last thing you're going to do is your chaining. Again, if you are still having problems with chaining, don't worry about it. The more practice, the better y'all will get. It is a difficult thing to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first word. S -a -d. Okay, sad. You'll sound that out, and then you'll go on to the next word down here, and you see the first and second sound are the same. So you're going to take this sound away and replace it with this sound. Again, you will ask your child which sound changed. That will tell you beginning, middle, or end, and then you can sound this out with them. Sag. Sag. Okay. I don't want you to stress out about this. If you cannot finish both sets of words in one sitting, just come back to it later. It's not a big deal. We take breaks all the time in class, and just like we're in class, you're at home learning. You're going to need to take breaks, too. It's a different learning environment for the kids, so it's something that they're having to get used to, and I don't want y'all to stress about it, okay? And I will talk to y'all later. Good job on your lesson. Bye.